I'm Adam, and I'm Acorn, and this is Where There's a Williams, There's a Way. Hey Adam, guess what I learned today? Hey Acorn, what's up? What'd you learn? Rainforest. Did you know they're like the spice aisle of nature? Uh, how so? Think about it, Adam. Rainforests are bursting with life, just like a well-stocked spice aisle. You got your toucans, your jaguars, your funky frogs, and don't forget about the plants. It's like a salsa party in there. I see your point, but what's with the hot sauce reference? Oh, you know me. I love my spice. Rainforests are like the ultimate hot sauce challenge. They're hot, humid, and spicy with biodiversity. I guess I never really thought about it that way. In today's book, Zonia's home is the Amazon rainforest, where it's always green and full of life. Every morning, the rainforest calls to Zonia, and every morning she answers. She visits the sloth family, greets the giant anteater, and runs with the speedy jaguar. But one morning, the rainforest calls to her in a troubled voice. How will Zonia answer? Let's get started. Zonia's Rainforest by Juana Martinez Neal. Zonia lives with those she loves in the rainforest, where it is always green and full of life. Every morning, the rainforest calls to Zonia. Every morning, Zonia answers. In Zonia's rainforest, green and full of life, she visits old friends and meets new ones. Good morning, she says one, two, three, four times. She stops to talk with some chatty new neighbors. Welcome, I live next door, Zonia sings. She says hello to her most playful friend. You're my favorite, Zonia whispers. What is that raccoon thing? They're called coatis. They're like these raccoon-looking creatures with long noses. They're fascinating. Huh, sounds interesting. What's so special about them? Well, for starters, they're great climbers. They can practically scale anything. Like, even trees? Yep, they're like the acrobats of the animal kingdom. But you know what's even more impressive? Their social structure. Kawadis live in a group called bands, and they have this whole hierarchy thing going on. It's like they have their own little government. Well, that's intriguing. And get this, they're omnivores. They eat just about anything, from fruits and insects to even small vertebrates. They're like the ultimate foodies of the forest. Sounds like they have quite the varied diet. They probably would enjoy it even more with a little hot sauce. And here's the kicker. They have this adorable habit of standing on their hind legs to get a better view of their surroundings. Can you imagine seeing a bunch of kawadis standing around like little detectives? That does sound cute. If she's lucky, her fastest friend will invite her for a short ride through the thicket. We are mighty, Zonia says, for that is what she feels in her heart. Zonia sees a colorful couple swim by. How's the water today? She asks with a smile. She congratulates mamas with their new babies. I can't wait for you to meet my baby brother. I love him so much. Zonia loves playing hide and seek. Five, six, seven. Some friends help Zonia see the world in new ways. And Zonia knows just who to visit when she wants to be quiet and still. After visiting all of her friends, Zonia is ready to go home. She can't wait to see her mama and baby brother again. On her way home, Zonia comes across something she has not seen before. Frightened, she runs the rest of the way home. Mama, look, Zonia says and opens her hands. The forest needs help. It is speaking to you, says Zonia's mama. And I will answer, says Zonia, as I always do. We all must answer. What if we were hanging out in the rainforest like a couple of jungle kings? Just imagine the adventure. Adventure in the rainforest? That sounds... Damp. Damp? 
No, it's all about embracing the elements, my friend. Plus, think of the hot sauce that we could find. Really? Hot sauce in the rainforest? Absolutely. I heard rumors of this legendary spice vine that grows only in the deepest, darkest corners of the rainforest. It's like the holy grail of the hot sauce. Well, I've never heard of spicy vines, but I guess stranger things have happened in nature. Exactly, so what do you say? Are you ready to embark on this epic rainforest quest with me? I don't know. Rainforests are full of unpredictable weather, dangerous creatures, and, well, rain. Rain is just nature's way of giving us a refreshing shower. Come on, Adam, where's your sense of adventure? I think it might be buried under my sense of caution. Aw, oh, come on, Teach. Live a little. Who knows, maybe we'll stumble upon a lost temple or discover a new species of salsa-loving monkeys. You know, as enticing as that sounds, I think I'll stick to the classroom for now. Rainforests can be pretty intense. Suit yourself. But when I come back with jars of spicy vine sauce and tales of daring escapades, you'll wish you joined me. The Ashaninka people. Zonia is Ashaninka, which is the largest indigenous group living in the Peruvian Amazon, with a population estimated at more than 73,000 people. Their homeland covers a vast region of the Amazon River Basin, with the greatest concentration in Peru and in five small, distinct areas of Brazil. Their language, Ashaninka, is the most widely used in the Peruvian Amazon. The Ashaninka have a long history of being disenfranchised and forced from their homelands. They have just a, as long a history of insisting on self-determination. Today, much like Zonia, they are answering the call to protect the rainforest, their home, through activism, community organization, and legal action. Sadly, their rights continue to be ignored and violated, and harassment grows because of others' impatience to develop, cultivate, and mine the world's tropical forests for profit. At times, the Ashaninka use plant-based paint on their faces or bodies to complement their actions or abilities. Varying from family to family, the designs are understood as being empowering and are sometimes inspired by the markings of animals to reflect their attributes. As she may have learned from her mama, Zonia uses red paint made from achiote on the last page of the story to signal strength and determination. A few facts about the Amazon. The Amazon rainforest is home to between 400 and 500 different indigenous people some of which are isolated or uncontacted. It is estimated that 330 different languages are spoken among these various groups. The Amazon rainforest occupies nine different countries, Brazil, Bolivia, Peru, Ecuador, Colombia, Venezuela, Guiana, Suriname, and French Guiana. It covers 1.4 billion acres, 567 million hectares, which is about 40% of South America. It has 4,100 miles, 6,600 kilometers, of rivers, contains half of the Earth's remaining forests, and is home to one of, in ten of the world's known species. The Amazon rainforest takes carbon dioxide out of the air and turns it into oxygen, producing more than 20% of the oxygen on our planet while it helps stabilize climate locally and globally. At the same time, the Amazon rainforest shrinks by 18.7 million acres, 7.6 million hectares, every year, or the size of 27 soccer fields every minute. It shrinks 17% in the last 50 years alone. Threats to the Amazon Human collectors of flora and fauna, along with shrinking and breaking up of habitat due to deforestation and illegal mining and logging, are major threats to the survival of the animal and ecosystems in the, in the Amazon rainforest. Every day, the Amazon rainforest is being changed by development. Large infrastructure projects, dams, roads, hydroelectric power plants, and extractive industries, oil wells, mining, have transformed the landscape and the lives of the people who live there, sometimes permanently and not always in a positive way. 
Illegal logging. Even in regions where logging or the logging of certain species is illegal, large-scale logging operations still take place. The prized mahogany tree, for example, has been harvested so severely that it is in danger of disappearing altogether. Farming. Forests are being burned down and cleared to make room for pasture land on which to graze commercial livestock. Destroying the rainforest also destroys a key source of oxygen which all living things need in order to keep on living. Mining. While illegal gold mining is done on a small scale, its effects are anything but small. Illegal mining causes an increase in other types of crime. And to find even trace amounts of gold, mercury is dumped into the rivers and streams, poisoning the water and all that lives in or depends upon it. Oil and Gas Extraction Oil and gas extraction take place largely in indigenous territories. Due to poor environmental practices by these industries, the ability of the people and the land to recover from such damage is severely diminished. Zonia's friends in order of appearance. Blue Morpho Butterfly. Hoffman's Two-Toed Sloth. Andean Cock of the Rock. South American Coati. Jaguar. Amazon River Dolphin. Giant Anteater. Spectacled Cayman. Giant Amazon Water Lily. Red-tailed Boa Constrictor. Arau Turtle. I've been thinking about the rainforest, and it needs our help, dude. Absolutely. It's crucial to protect the rainforest. It's home to so many unique species and plays a vital role in maintaining the Earth's ecosystem. Totally. But hey, let's not beat around the bush. I've got a fiery idea. How about we douse the rainforest in hot sauce? I don't think so. That's not really the best idea. Hot sauce might not be the solution to the rainforest. Plus, it might upset the animals living there. Oh, come on, Adam. Imagine the Amazon rainforest with a spicy twist. It would be the hottest tourist attraction ever. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I think we need a more practical approach. Maybe we could organize a fundraiser to support rainforest conservation efforts, or raise awareness among our students about the importance of preserving natural habitats. All right, all right. I guess I can cool down the hot sauce idea. But hey, can we at least brainstorm some spicy slogans for our fundraiser? How about heat up for the rainforest, spicing up conservation efforts? Oh, I like the sound of that. All right, let's make it happen. We'll save the rainforest one spicy fundraiser at a time. Sounds like a plan. If you'd like to help us, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm Adam. And I'm Acorn. And this is Where There's a Williams, There's a Way. Did you know the Amazon rainforest is the world's largest rainforest covering almost 40% of South America and spanning nine countries?